we've heard about self-driving cars and maybe trains, but there could soon be unmanned ships that are navigating open waters. In Norway, an all-electric and what is expected to be the world's first autonomous container ship is beginning a two-year pilot, as Adrian Murray reports from the south of the country. Cruising quietly through a Norwegian field, this new ship is making waves. It's sailing to a nearby port on a voyage that's emission-free. At this fertilizer plant, up to 100 containers are loaded onto the Yara Birkeland. Here in the dock, this looks like an ordinary cargo ship, but under the deck, there's no engine or diesel. It's powered instead by batteries. There's a capacity of almost seven megawatt hours, enough to power 90 Tesla cars. And that's supplied with clean hydro energy. So what we see right here is the... the and if everything is ship shape, two years from now, there won't be any crew on board at all. In the beginning, I will be driving the ship more or less as I do today. And more and more will be taken over by electronics, robotics. Data collected will train an algorithm and eventually radar, sensors and artificial intelligence cameras will help the vessel navigate by itself. Docking, loading cargo and recharging batteries will also be automated. Both the fertiliser and shipping industries are big emitters, but around 40,000 truck journeys each year will be taken off the roads, saving 1,000 tonnes of CO2. Now it is uh, crew supported by autonomous systems, then it will be autonomous systems supported by crew on board. And in the end, it will be autonomous systems supported and watched by crew in the short control center. Voyages will be monitored from the land and if needed, a human could step in. Smaller unmanned boats are taken to the water, while autonomous subsea drones have already made a splash. Norwegian firm Konsberg is pioneering the technology. By bringing personnel to a remote operation centre, it's less costly than having them on the ocean. It, actually, technology is more safe than human operations. More autonomous ship and barge projects are on the horizon here in Norway. With fields and long road distances, that has advantages. But new regulations are needed. And applying this to big ships on ocean crossings is unlikely anytime soon. I think that the technology needs to be uh, matured even more and you have to have energy systems and propulsion systems that require very little maintenance. Until now, autonomous shipping has been uncharted water. But soon, crewless vessels could be navigating Norway's coastline. Adrian Murray, BBC News, Porsgrunn.